Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. Glad you're stopping by. Um, I felt like I needed to make this video um, just to let you guys know what's going on. Um, this past week I was diagnosed with COVID. Um, COVID-19, which you guys know that's going around. And today, um, on top of that, um, I was diagnosed with pneumonia on top of that. So I've been having a rough time breathing off and on. They gave me some medicine, uh, mainly like a steroid and something to break down the gunk. Um, but it's been, you know, it's been scary, actually. Like, And one of the questions you're going to ask is, was you vaccinated? Mm -hmm. And yes, I, I was vaccinated. I, I had my two shots, Moderna. Um, I didn't take a booster because I didn't think I needed to, honestly. And, you know, they said just doing the <laughs> two doses was going to make things okay. But I still caught it. Actually, a, whole, a lot of my family's got it now. The only people that I don't know. Like, the only people that don't have it is my mother, my stepdad. Which sucks, because it's scary, because I, I would like to see them. But I'm kind of basically stuck here. Now, I am able to work from home, which is good. Um, but the last few days, I have felt... I've never felt this bad, like, in a long time. You know, I had meningitis a long time ago. I had a, a weird flu... When, with pneumonia, this was a long time ago, and I was hospitalized. But I don't ever recall it being this bad. I actually just got back from the urgent care. Um, you know, they was talking about you know where I have other health issues with my heart and everything. I was pretty worried about it, which you know I, I'm pretty scared myself. Um, you know, I've got a lot of support system going on, uh, family, friends. My fiance, um, people I work with, and you know, I'm very thankful for that. Um, they did say if things get worse, I will have to be hospitalized. But I wanted to make this video because I'm scared. I'm 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 fucking terrified, and I'm angry. I'm very angry. I'm pissed off, and. I know what I'm about to say is going to ruffle some feathers, and I actually kind of said it the other day. Out of, out of, I was just really salty. I was just pissed off when I said it. And, you know, this could be a hundred times worse. I know that. It could be way worse. And I'm hoping it doesn't get worse. Uh, you know, I'm hitting it with vitamins, like you name it, I'm hitting it with, I, I didn't do the ivermectin thing, I know that's probably what you're going to ask, no, I didn't do that, actually, I asked about that, just out of curiosity, and the doctor said no, so, do what you will with that, that, I, I'm not going to do the ivermectin thing, and I'm not going to say, if you took ivermectin, that, you know, you're stupid because you're not. You're you're doing what you think will help you. And for some reason there is a proven fact that people's actually got better with ivermectin, which I you know. Yeah, that's good for you. It's really good for you actually. Um uh, lack of sleep has been awful. Uh I just I wanna tell you what it feels like. This is actually the most I've talked all day for the most part. You know, I could still talk, but at night, you know, setting in, you know, I woke up three or four times in the night, just can't breathe. And, you know, I'll be sitting there and I'll just get these really bad coughing fits, which I'm surprised I haven't yet. Uh, and, you know, it, from the outside, it doesn't, it looks like it's not that bad. It sounds like it's like a flu. And it kind of is. It kind of feels like the flu but it's worse. Like my whole body's aching, um, headaches, diarrhea. And I'm, this is going to be TMI. Um, you know, I, I'm pissed off about it. And the main reason I'm pissed off about it is because I took precautions when I could. 
once things relaxed, you know, from time to time, I, if, if a place required you to wear a mask, I would wear a mask. Um, you know, I thought I was safe with the vaccination. And they kind of said, you know, having the vaccinations, you know, you'll be pretty safe. Which, you know, after that, they said, you know, you need a booster shot. Then another booster shot. And, you know, people that got the vaccinations still got sick. And, you know, you can take a flu vaccine or any other vaccine. You can still catch something. But the way things was worked up with the vaccination with people basically saying that you know all oh, this you're not going to catch it then you find out people are catching it and i fucking caught it you know my you know i'm in a house with my brother and his wife and they caught it and then i caught it and you know it's fucking fucking crazy and i guess that's why i'm pissed off about it is because you know, I was hoping it would never come to that. I was hoping I was protected with that. And, you know, I posted the other day, I was like, you know, um, I took my vaccine, still caught it. Who would have known? And some of my friends posted it. It's like, you know, vaccines are fine, which I'm not arguing that. I've never said I was against vaccinations. The only thing I'm against is mandates. Um, to me, you're free to do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. If, you know, you don't want to take the vaccination and you get sick, that's on you. That's not on me. Do I wish you would have ta taken it? Yeah, of course. But is it my responsibility or, you know, is it the government's responsibility to mandate people that don't want it? And, you know, to be honest... You know, the vaccination is fairly new. It, it got made really, really quick. And people can question these things. And I think they have the right to. And, you you know, me talking about this, they're going to say, oh, this is COVID misinformation. I understand. I, I got the little comment or the <laughs> notification thing on that post on Facebook. And it said something about COVID information, blah, blah, blah. You get it any time you mention COVID, which I'm sure this video is going to get, get it. This is me not telling you, I'm not telling you you do not get vaccinated. I'm telling you you should get vaccinated. I think you should. But I'm also telling you that you can still catch it. It's not safe. It's not the end-all, be-all things that's going to make you feel you know, to me, it felt like a safety blanket. I was like, oh, shit, I'm protected. You know, I know that found sounds fucking stupid. Like, it's so naive. Like, I mean, think that way. And, you know, I got caught up watching other people. You know, things started getting relaxed. Um, People stopped wearing their masks. People were getting back together. And, you know, I thought this thing was over. Then you start seeing all these variants coming in. And, you know, hear about the hospitalizations and all that shit. Hang on. All right. I had to catch my breath there. I was talking forever. Um... Ultimately, I mean, there's no real point in this video. I'm not looking for you to feel sorry for me. I'm not here to tell you that you're wrong. I'm not. I Honestly, you're an adult. I hope. You know, you know I hope you're an adult. You, you should be able to make the decision yourself. It shouldn't be forced on you. You know, I thought it was a good idea, and... You know, people might think I'm stupid because I got vaccinations. And, you know, like I said, they probably think I'm stupid because I was naive to think that that was going to protect me from getting it, which I should have known because people were getting it with the vaccinations. 
now I got pneumonia on top of that. And which I'm like I said, I'm surprised that I'm able to actually talk this long without hacking up a lung. Um, you usually it flares up really bad at night. Uh, like right now, you know, I took my inhaler and I took um, some type of mucinex is um, prescribed. It's like a strong, and it's supposed to help with that. You know, I've got cough drops. I've got all kinds of vitamins, like anything you can think of. I'm, I'm you know, I'm doing it. Well, as long as they're recommending. Um, there's no real way to treat COVID. I'm coming to find out. It's not like the flu or a cold there's no specific drug like i was surprised when i was in the urgent care that they wasn't allowed to give me steroids now steroids and antibiotics and stuff like that you know that can help but they're saying that steroids for some odd reason with um covid is not a good idea i don't know why i'm not a doctor that's what they told me. They said no steroid use or anything like that, which, thank God. Now, they did offer me something, and I did turn it down because I had no clue what it was, and I don't know what it was. They didn't tell me the name of it. They mm -hmm. said, would you like to try it? And I declined it because I don't know what it was, and the way they was talking about it is that it's very rare um, and it's used mainly for people that is on chemo treatments. So I didn't think I was that bad off yet to go that route. And, I, you know, maybe I should have took that, but I don't know. Like somebody, you know, like my stepdad, could could use that now i'm not so so much worried about me i'm worried about other people you know i don't want people to get sick especially if you have health conditions which i do and i don't want to say i don't care about my own well-being because that's selfish because you know i got people that care for me and i know my battles with mental health has been off and on like bad um before i ramble on anymore i just want to say um i'm gonna fight this shit and hopefully come out on top i'm not saying man i'm gonna die <laughs> i, I kind of felt like i was gonna die last night i was like miserable um you know one of my things i've been doing is i'll turn the shower on and i'll sit in the middle of the shower as hot water hits me and I'll sit there for a half an hour this is after I'm taking like my vitamins and everything and I was like fuck dude I'm gonna have to do that uh, that's what I'm gonna have to do so yeah but guys thank you so much for watching I definitely appreciate it feel free to hit that follow button and I'll see you soon